It's time for the big show with Andy Gallo and Country Jim. Well, hello, everybody. I'm Andy Gallo. And I'm CJ. And welcome to the podcast, everyone. And we have got with us Howard Dalphy, better known as Howl and Howie. And uh, we've also got, we got Willie Nelson here tonight, too. Hey, man, go ahead, Willie. Kick it off, baby. If you had not have fallen... I would not have found you Angel flying too close to the ground I patched up your broken wing Hung around a while Fever down. So leave me if you need to. I'll still remember. Angel flying too close to the ground. Sister Bobby on the piano. There you go. That's good. That's good. Hal and Howie, how you doing, man? I'm fat and happy. Thank you very much. Boy, I tell you what, that is good. That, oh, thank that, you. that is good. That, that's uh, that's. But when you do that on stage, you don't call him Willie Nelson. No, it's really Nelson. Really, really Nelson. And I got to give props. Patrick Murphy made up that name on the spot on stage one night. That is and he great. got mad at me because great. I spelled the website really Nelson, like Willie, but take away the W and put an R right. in place of it. Right. Yeah. He said it should have been R-E-A-L-L-Y Nelson. Well, like really, 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 really Nelson. But yeah. he says, you're okay. stupid. And I said, well, you know. And But now because of that, everybody says Riley Nelson instead of really. Right. But Riley would be R-I-L-E-Y. Anyway, this ain't a right. English uh, or a spelling right. exam, but, right. Right. but a spelling hey. lesson. Every now and then we get a, we get Christian values thrown in here from the preacher over here. So, Amen. Uh, like, Amen, brother. <laughs> Amen. Uh, well, that that is good, and you do a lot, a lot of other impersonations as well, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I do. Uh, I do a couple of others. Um, let's see. Um... smoking in his hand she said father please forgive me I can't make it without my man and she knew the gun was empty and she knew she couldn't win her final prayer was answered when the rifles fired again y'all help me children there were seven Spanish angels at the altar the altar of the sun. Oh, I believe they were praying for the lover. Yeah, they were in the valley of the gun. <laughs> well, 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 when the battle stopped and the smoke lit, there was thunder, thunder from the throne. Oh, yeah, seven bodies in jail. Home. There you go. That is good. How long have you been doing impersonations? Uh, <laughs> since I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah, we all were a kid at one time. Is yeah. That your, that's your story? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we started out that way. So, <laughs> is, it, uh, is it learning the timber of the voice? Is it learning the... Uh, 
the accents, is it the phrasing, the pauses, the what? You got it, all of it. Oh yeah, saying the vowels like in uh, like uh, even Willie, when he says live, he says live. You gotta listen to the vowels, like how they come out, live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, but yeah, I just uh, I don't I don't um, some people who do impressions take themselves way too seriously, and I always tell people, tell people with me, it's just entertainment, it's just for fun. I never take myself too seriously doing that because you can never replace the icons. You know, we already have a oh, yeah. a, a Willie Nelson, we already got a Waylon Jennings, we already got. a... <laughs> You know, and the people that have those signature voices, there's nobody that's going to sound exactly like them. But, you know, we can have fun and get kind of close and pay an homage to those people. Oh, you yeah, know? but, man, there's a talent there in being able to sound so much like mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I agree. That. I agree. You know, the only one I ever thought about uh, even trying was uh, Bill Anderson whispering Bill, you know, doing, yeah. doing still. You ever tried to do still? <laughs> You know, Boxcar Willie did a good one on that one. Did he really? I don't know if you ever heard that. Boxcar did a really good uh, Bill Anderson. Do you, you ever hear that? That was good. Never have. Still, I didn't know he did that. Yep. Though you broke my heart, still. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I can't. That's it. <laughs> I've never tried to do him too much. Uh, uh, that is it. You know, I've, I've done some other ones, but it's, yeah. it's all in fun, you know? It's yeah. all in fun. And, um, but it's inter it's really good entertainment. I mean, you've uh, you've played so many gigs with me, and 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 you know you've got uh, as you well know one of my favorite, very favorite bands is Palomino Moon, and Palomino Moon has three excellent singers, and we've had all three of them actually on yeah, the on the podcast. Awesome. Uh, him and my daughter Leslie and and Kevin Carter, mm -hmm. but. That all of those uh, that that show all of those songs, uh, except if maybe sometime in that show do they have you do one of the impersonations? That um, every once in a while, what? just on request. Um, yeah. Every once in a while, I'll do uh, Freddie Fender or I'll do um, Little Jimmy Dickens. You yeah. know. But, but other than that, it's not really that kind of gig where it's no. You know, it's more about the music than it is the entertainment. Right, I and mean, we'll right. throw a few corny jokes in there. So, you know? where yeah. do you where do you find out that the, the 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 best place to do the the entertainment thing is that going to be like read what? the audience? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Read sometimes the audience. Okay. if if I'm at a gig like I every Friday night I play at at in Simonton at mm -hmm. um, Anthony's Market Grill. Sometimes I'm just background music, right? And that's okay with me. Uh, but every once in a while, I'll just for my own entertainment, I'll do an impression. And like, nobody's paying attention. It don't matter. <laughs> but then I hear a chuckle and then I'll hear somebody clapping. Well, maybe they like that. I'll throw in another one. Right. And I'll right, do another right. one pretty soon. Tip jar. They start hitting the tip jar and they start requesting right. some stuff. And cool. I got uh, this one couple that comes out there. They've got to hear John Conley every time they come out there. And what, what uh, do do? it doesn't Ro wear me out. Rose colored but, glasses? Uh, that one, but I, I usually do, since it's Friday night, I usually do Friday, Friday night blues. blues. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, but okay. they uh, yeah. they come out there and they religiously have to have it. As a matter of fact, the second time I met the people, the lady, her name's Jamie, she walks up to me, says, um, Do you remember who I am? And I said, I, I believe so. And she goes, What song do I want to hear? I said, Well, I don't remember what song it is, but I think it's John Conley. And she goes, You did remember. <laughs> and I said, I don't remember your name. I'm horrible with names, but I'll be glad to do John Conley. Yeah. And she put some in the tip jar. I thought, all right. I'm there you one. go. Give so us, then I was, I had to do it. Yeah, you know? Give us a little John. So yeah. do it without a tip. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Here's a tip. Don't take wooden nickels, okay? There you go. He's been working all week. He's got mental fatigue. That old couch sure looks fine. All week he's been gone, she's been sitting alone Slowly going out of her mind As he kicks off his shoes for the six o'clock news She's getting all pretty up As she's wanting a buggy, he wants to lay there She's got the Friday night blues Oh, those Friday night blues, they get in your shoes and work to get you down. Oh, but there ain't a lady that I ever knew who didn't need her tonight on the town.
down But the hills and the bills and the week full of deals Has got him feeling used While he's kicking his shoes off She's putting hers on And she's got the Friday night blues that is good. Mm. That is good. <laughs> it's just for fun, you know? <laughs> well, that is great. You've, though, you've done a lot of gigs <clears throat> with me, either on bass or guitar. And uh, <clears throat> I can't remember ever doing a gig that, that I didn't ask you. And you're, I tell you, you're always so sweet about uh, granting the request. I've always asked you to do Freddie Fender, and don't you do that, do that, do that now. But... And I, because I'm always a little bit concerned about being overbearing about it, and that uh, that you're going, oh no, not again. But you seem to you seem to kind of enjoy doing it almost. Well, it I do. It's um as I've told you before, I'm really careful when I'm a side man. If I'm hired by somebody, I don't ever want to upstage. Try to I don't want ever want a front man to think I'm trying to upstage him. Mm -hmm. And so if I'm asked to entertain to any kind of degree on somebody else's gig, it makes me a tad uncomfortable. Uh, because there have been in the years, and literally, there have been front men that they asked me to entertain, and I did. I got some attention, and that front man never called me back. So, mm. out of self-preservation, yep. I'm real leery yep. about entertaining on somebody else's right. show. And, and it's not because I think I'm all that. It's because I don't want to. Mm -hmm. I'd rather get a job playing a bass than get a, a bunch of jobs playing bass for somebody mm -hmm. and singing harmony behind them than I had... Uh, get fired and not get called again right, right. for having, you know, yeah. in the back of their mind, taken over their gig. Right. And yeah, I'd never want to do that. Yeah. So yeah. real careful. Real yeah. careful. Yeah. But you know me pretty uh, well. You know? Yeah, I know. And, and I don't mind at all. But And I know that you do it just because it's fun and silly oh, and yeah. it gives you a break to sing, too. And I don't mind that. Well, mm -hmm. you, I mean, it's you do it really well, my brother. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, um, absolutely. This is not one of my best ones, but it's fun to do. And I will say... In my defense, I may not sound really close to the artist, but it's really nice to have the band covering you up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, because when there's that element of the bass and the drums and, and the rhythm going on and all that, it does lend itself a, a little more validity mm -hmm. to it than naked with the guitar like this. Yeah. So far, though, so good. So, yeah. I'll do this in a little lower key than normal because I've just been talking on work all day. Let's see. If he brings you happiness. And I wish you all the best It's your happiness that matters most of all Si te quiere la verdad Y te da felicidad Estaré contigo cuando triste está do you speak That's Spanish, by the way? I do speak some Spanish oh, okay. enough to get by. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah, because most people couldn't pull that one off right there. That's for sure. No, that was that was you know. taught to me by some bona fide Latinos when mm. I was a kid. Okay. Uh, right. went back, matter of fact, in the late 80s when I was singing at <laughs> the Texas Opry Jamboree. I was just a teenager. Right. Yeah. And I went to these friends of mine. I said, do y'all speak Spanish? They said, yeah. I said, well, I didn't know. <laughs> I said, man, I'd really like to learn these two songs by Freddie Fender. Could y'all oh. teach them to me? Okay. And they looked at me like I was crazy, but they said, okay. And they got a piece of paper. And they started writing it out and taught me how to pronounce the words correctly. And I knew a little bit of that from choir. Yeah. Right. Of how to speak, how to pronounce Spanish correctly. But they taught mm -hmm. me how the words fit together. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was a nice learning experience. But since then, I've, in my adult life, I've, I've learned how to speak some Spanish. Uh, matter of fact, my friend Andy Douglas, that owns Andrews Music and Porter. Yeah. He, he made a joke about me one day. Somebody said, how are you speak Spanish? That's really good. And he goes, no, he doesn't. He speaks Mexican food and Mexican music. I said, well, at least I can eat and get a gig. You there know? you go. Somebody well, have you heard Leslie do Born to Lose? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Come up to the yeah. boat there. Come oh, up. yeah. Come I up. love her drama when she does that one. Yeah, she really, really digs in. Yeah. Leslie sings from her feet. She's one of my favorites. Oh, she's good. Uh, she is really Well, good. she learned, you know, she sings the second verse in, in, in Spanish. Spanish. Mm -hmm. And uh, Joey Guerra, who was a big fan of hers from the Chronicle, uh, he complimented her pronunciation on, yeah. on that. Yeah, it's 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 uh it's a point of respect for me 
because if you're going to speak another language, you want to speak it correctly. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, like yeah. at work, when I just say one of the Latinos names, I, I had one the other day. I said, oh, I said, well, thank you, Ms. Sanchez. And she goes, no, we call it Sanchez. <laughs> And she was, ah. you could tell by her appearance that she was of Latino or, uh, origin. And she goes, well, we, we live in Texas. We've been in Texas for three generations. We call it Sanchez. Uh -huh. I said, well, excuse me. She goes, oh, no problem. That's easier for us gringos to say, though, see? I'll tell you yeah. what. You know, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. it's like Martinez, you know. Yeah, that's so, right. You know, so that's good. Well, I got to have a little Jimmy, too. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. which, which one are you going to do? The only one I know. Actually, I do know that other one he did, that, uh, the one Ricky Van Shelton redid in the 80s. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know that one too, oh, but, I'll, but I'll go ahead and do yeah. uh, another Bridge to Burn. That's a good one. <clears throat> Let me see if I can keep my strumming going while I sing out a tune. And... I've had to burn most every bridge I've crossed. It seems that everything I've loved I've lost. <laughs> when I met you, I thought my luck had turned. Now our love is just another bridge to burn. That's about another. I, I tell everybody. I don't like think Jim. I don't think Jim was ever out of that, that out of tune. Was yeah, he? in his last yeah. few years, I'm actually well, yeah, imitating yeah, no. the. Um, when he was older, yes. About the, yes. the year 2000, yeah. Jimmy Dickens, yeah. Now, the yeah. story, I, see, I, I, I got to see little Jimmy at, at the Willis High School. The fire department brought him to town. This is like about 1960, whatever, eight. Remember, what? I, gave you the, I gave you the copy. Yeah. And I, at that time, I had a big old reel to reel that my dad, he worked on stuff like that. So he gave it to me. I took it up there and I asked him, I said, y'all mind if I record the show? He said, no, go right ahead. Of course, you know, not nowadays, that'd be like a no way. But I got little Jimmy Dickens uh, on, a, on a seven inch, seven and a half inch reel. Oh, that's good. And I dubbed it down. I, I borrowed a, a friend of mine's uh, reel to reel and dubbed it down and put it on. I, he's got a, a copy of it on a, yeah. on a CD. And, and it, it's a good, it's a great, you know, he's a comedian. I mean, Well, I'll is, be expecting my Dropbox copy of it. I can yeah. get you, I can get you a copy of that. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. No doubt about ah. it. It is really good stuff there. Uh, but, you, well, he, he, was a, he was a, he was a nice feller. Oh yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, yeah, absolutely. he he um he was getting tired in his old age. There. Oh yeah. And with yeah. all due respect, I mean I'm kind of old myself. So. Right, right. Well, the, I got you. The vibrato got well. You do a great job of imitating the vibrato. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> the most marked part of the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds to me. I always tell it sounds like Carol Channing. <laughs> It's funny. That is funny. Any other? Any others? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I can do this. Uh, I usually do a, another one man duet. Um. Uh oh, here we go. A long time forgotten. Dreams are just fell by the way. Good life he promised. Ain't what she's living today. Really? She never complains. Bad times are the bad things he's done, Lord. <laughs> she just talks about the good times they've had, and all the good times to come. Anyway, et cetera, et cetera. Waylon and Willie. Willie. Yeah. That's a good one. And uh, let's see, what was the other one that went along with? Oh, yeah. Um. Mama. To all the girls I've loved before. Traveled in and out, I don't Glad they came along Dedicate this song To all the girls I've loved before To all the girls who shared my life There is life Now are someone else's wife Glad they came along Dedicate this song to all the girls I've loved before. The winds of change are always blowing, <laughs> and every time I try to stay, <laughs> the winds of change continue blowing, 
And they just carry me away. Anyway, Julio. That's it. Julio Iglesias <laughs> Julio, and yeah. Willie Nelson. That's good. That is good. That's a good stuff. Hey, you know, it's just all. That is good. It's stuff. just for uh, entertainment purposes only. Yeah. Well, you know, when you now you do your own gig that you you were talking about a while ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, that are you the one man band or you that's gotta, it? It's you, just just like this, yeah. me and the guitar. Okay. okay. And, uh, and so you I just pull do... out the nylon string for the Willie stuff. Right. And um, right. As a matter of fact, I even play it on that song um, to all the girls. I usually play that guitar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but it depends on the crowd. Sometimes it just. Ain't getting any traction, so I just go back to, you know, cold Fort Worth beer. Just ain't no good. You <laughs> know, just you go. yeah. the same six and seven, the good old George sure. Straits and Haggards and all right. that that people want to hear. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, wow. Let's see. I, I got yeah. another one cooking. Um, <clears throat> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are we going to be the first time to hear this? This is this is a... Oh, yeah. You're a store-bought woman. You make me sing like a guitar humming. Um, you know, we went to see you. I went to see you a number of times at Track Shack when you were bringing in a whole band mm-hmm. to, to do an Elvis show. Um, oh, yeah. And, and you even uh, you, you even had one of those jumpsuit things. A white, <laughs> white, white jumpsuit okay. with a big with a buckle. Yeah. Right, right yeah. Right. I bet, um, I bet you that was good. Was it white? white? Well, yeah, yeah. It was white yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, uh, that's um, good. <laughs> back when I was working at, um, I was in the staff band at the Texas Opry in Magnolia, Texas mm-hmm. Opry Jamboree in Magnolia, and uh, I was I was there for about the last four years they were open. I was in the staff band, and we were just hurting for comedians. There was one Christian comedian they'd have out there occasionally, and but there wasn't um, a bona fide like um, there was no clown on the show. And I asked Joel, the owner, I said, "Hey, man." I said, can I just uh, put, I've got this Elvis kind of outfit that I made. I homemade it. It's a big joke for when I was um, (laughs) over at uh, the Little Country Church in New Caney. Mm -hmm. And I said, can I get out here and do a comedy Elvis thing? He goes, what are you going to do? And I said, well, you know, I'll figure something out. (laughs) And uh, he goes, go for it. And so actually that performance is on YouTube. Cool. And I called the character Arvis Parsley. (laughs) <laughs> and uh, in the middle of burning love, I like have this spell and I fall out. <laughs> and my friend Theresa Black, uh, she was uh, working as a vet tech at the time, and she, I said, hey, I called her. I said, can you bring your scrubs to the show? She goes, why? I said, because I'm gonna fall out during the song. I want you to act like you're trying to revive me. <laughs> well, I didn't know that she was an actress, but she actually act like she's beating on my chest and she hollered at the audience he's not gonna make it because she wasn't about to do go, you know give him out to mouth to me you know <laughs> but anyway so uh um, did she say elvis has left the building no no, no, no. she didn't say but that anyway, okay. y'all gotta see it it's really funny i'll need to look it up on youtube harvest we'll parsley we'll do that but uh can you give us um, a, just a tad yeah of yeah just a little bit are you lonesome tonight do you miss me Tonight, are you sorry we drifted apart? Does your memory stray to a bright summer day <laughs> when I kissed you and called you sweetheart? Do the chairs in your Seem empty and bare. Do you gaze at your doorstep and picture me there? <laughs> Is your heart filled with pain? Shall I come back again? And tell me, dear, are you lonesome tonight? Thank you very much. That's a yeah, good one there. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. That is good. That um, is but really yeah, good. you know, and, um, and I do stuff like that, and uh, I'll do Burning Love, and I, I do a whole bunch of Elvis stuff. I got a whole set list when I was doing the Arvis Parsley shows, oh, yeah, like he yeah. was saying at the, at the yeah. Track Shack. Mm-hmm. I was doing them once a month. Oh, wow. And really, Nelson would open up, <laughs> and I had what I call the most powerful band in show business. Yeah. 
And uh, we still do some shows occasionally. Yeah. It's um, Brian Thomas on pedal steel and banjo. <clears throat> I don't, to my knowledge, Elvis never used a pedal steel, mm-hmm. so which made it even bigger joke. All right, and all right. Joe Busa on the drums, Claude Woolley on the bass, mm. and Wayne Turner, who you, whom you've had on the show. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. he was on the guitar. Claude. Had Claude on here too. Yeah, yeah, yeah had Claude. Claude on here as well. And yeah, uh, yeah. so that's the most powerful band in show yeah. business. And, it's everything is over the top, and I do the Elvis thing. I even sing some of the songs. I'll sing higher notes than he did on them, and um, because I they, I don't have any moves, I don't have a fancy costume. If I've got one thing, I I can pop off some operatic notes way up there. Right, and right. Um, it's it's really really a lot of fun. So if anybody wants to book Harvest Parsley, just give me a call. I'll be glad to. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I it's tell. Horrible. Yeah, it's great. Make a good Christmas party, huh? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah I've done a, I've absolutely. Done a few private Actually, parties. Yeah. Um, uh, so it, uh, it's it sounds to me like that <clears throat> that really you just uh, you didn't learn the impersonation from somebody else. You just took your ability to clone or whatever would be a good word to describe. You're right. Yeah, I did. I didn't copy anybody else's interpretation of them. It's all just me. Yeah. Yeah. We might mention, uh, see, I wasn't aware, I don't think, if I knew about it, I'd forgotten that. Um, uh, so uh, your forgetter is not working again? The one that you mentioned that did impersonations, Boxcar? Boxcar Willie. Oh, yeah. yeah he did, did he that. just do one? Or he just he did that steel thing with, with Anderson there in front of him. It was kind of a big joke, but he did a pretty good job. But there were but, some <clears> some <throat> other guys who did impersonations. Oh, I'm sure. Well, yeah. uh, Merle you know, ben, Haggard, that's ben, a classic one. Merle Haggard oh, doing Johnny Marty Cash Robbins. and Marty Robbins. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. That's good stuff. That is good. That is yeah. good. Yeah. Well, and and uh, uh, who was it? Uh, Ferlin Husky. Ferlin Husky did some did, he had some pretty good impersonations. Oh, yeah. Del yeah. Reeves does some good Del ones, Reeves. too. Del yeah. Reeves did some pretty good stuff, oh, you know. So, oh, Del yeah. Reeves did. Who is the little old, old guy in the f- TV family show? Walter Brady. Walter Brennan. Oh, yeah. I've been working on my yeah. Walter Brennan lately. Have you been working? You know, yeah. my God, I tell you what, <laughs> man. We just, me, 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 me. How old was I the first time I seen old Rivers? Well, I couldn't have been more than 10. <laughs> That's, you know, pretty good, I think. I think yeah. I got a pretty good uh, Walter yeah. Brennan. That is good. Yeah. That is good. Oh, uh, here's, here's another one. I'll see. All right. Yeah. We got married in a fever. Hotter than a pepper sprout We've been talking about Jackson Ever since the fire went out Well, I'm going to Jackson I'm gonna mess around We're gonna snowball, Jackson Look out, Jackson Town Anyway, that's my Johnny impersonation You're not gonna do June? <laughs> no, nah, I can't I can't hit the high notes today <laughs> No. <Nah. laughs> Oh my goodness! This is a nut. why y'all do this to me. Why? Oh, I think this is fun. Oh, awesome! This yeah. is fun stuff. This is fun stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is real good. Don't worry about me. Oh yeah, come on. Now. It's all over now. Though I may be blue, I'll manage somehow. A little bit of Marty Robbins. That is good. Yeah, that is good. Thank you. You know, I don't remember. I guess when when I had you do them, you had to be um, on on my show. You had to be on the guitar because you couldn't. You never could really, while you were playing bass, do them. Could you? Or do well, you? I could. Yeah, I could. I can. But it's um, some of them like the really Nelson. I mean, you got to do the guitar licks with it. Yeah, right. you, you got to have but, trigger. But I've I've done yeah. done them on some gigs where I'm playing mm-hmm. bass and I'll do the Willie parts. It's um, I don't mind doing them. It just um, if the yeah. guitar player don't know some of the licks, it's yeah. not all that authentic right. sounding. But and that's all gonna, right. I was gonna make it's that all for point. fun anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, absolutely. Man, your guitar playing really helps the. It is good. The helps deal. sell it. It helps sell <laughs> it. It is good. Right, exactly. It's a package deal, is what it is. Yeah, yeah. you got to have the uh, the phrasing has got to be right. Yeah. If the phrasing is good and the guitar picking is there, it's it's like everybody goes, yeah, that's Willie, no doubt. It, that to me, that's the way I look at it. You know, when it comes to impersonations, phrasing is everything. You know, yeah. Twenty years it's ago, the, it's the timbre of the voice. Like it is, it is. But you, you can take, and I've heard guys do impersonations that were probably not that good, but because the phrasing was good, yeah. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, and everything. And the mannerisms, maybe, or whatever. You're going, oh, yeah, I'll buy it. You know, yeah. be, that's good. So, yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, yeah, you got them up here and you got them way down here, you know, but. You yeah, know, so. um, back in, uh, actually, it was in 03, I was in a Willie <clears throat> Sound Like contest. Oh, wow. Oh, that wow. was put on by, I guess it was 97 1 at the Texas Roadhouse in Pasadena. And uh, I uh, told my wife, I said, hey, if there's one guy that could beat me in this contest, I said, when I was a kid, there was a guy around here named Doc Richards. He played with a band around here called the Still Broke Band. And uh, I said, if there's one guy that can beat me, but I, he's probably disappeared off the map. He probably ain't nowhere around. I walked up there to sign up, and three lines in front of me, Doc had been, and I started looking around. He was there. Wow. And he won the thing. <laughs> he won the thing. He got to go play wow. uh, golf with Willie and uh, got to hang out with him and do who knows what else. And, uh, <laughs> don't go on willie's bus I'll what i did head. was i only did a little piece of one song but all these other guys did pieces of three or four songs and they really sold them and i didn't know we could do that or i'd have i'd have pulled uh, out yeah. you know and uh i'm 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 not haughty and proud but i'm kind of proud of the way i do um um you were always on my mind mm -hmm. i can do that pretty good like willie and when i'm doing the really nelson show i actually play his guitar solos mm -hmm. you know in the oh, show yeah. and that kind of lends it right but yeah, yeah if i'd have known doc if i'd have been able to do three songs you're watching this buddy if i'd have been able to, if i'd known i could do three songs i'd have whooped you that day we're gonna have to have a willie off one of these days <laughs> a willie off <laughs> oh yeah man. What, what year was that Oh three. Oh three. yeah yeah wow. yeah that was uh texas roadhouse in pasadena hey, yeah. how old was he then Doc? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. He's, he he's might probably not, got 10 years on me, I guess. I don't know. He might not still be around. He, he's still around. He's he still is? around. Yeah. Cool. That's why I'm taunting him. All right. We're <laughs> going to have us a Willie off. A Willie days. off. That'll be good. Oh, yeah. Maybe we could have it on the big show. Yeah, well, absolutely. Why not? <laughs> might as well. You know? We've got two Willies in here. Folks are going to have to decide which one's the authentic Willie. Willie yeah. number one yeah. and yeah. Willie number two. That's great. <laughs> get you. Get you. <laughs> Get your Willie right here. Yeah. All right. Double you know, Willie. What you got to do, though, is you got to find you an old, beat-up... Martin guitar. Martin guitar. Mm -hmm. And you got to do some damage to the... Yeah. You got to make you a bigger hole at the bottom there with it for your fingering. And you got to get that trigger look to yep, it. Yep, yep. i thinking about and that. And then when you go on stage, people will be going, wow. Yeah, this one sounds like trigger, but it don't look like trigger. No, it's no, like, no. It, it's got to it's gotta <laughs> be beat-up and just... The, the wood's got to be as dry as it can be. Yeah, I've only had this one for 10 years, so it's yeah. not all that. Yeah. Yeah, it's not all that, yeah. uh, what do you call uh, Yeah, you I hadn't beat on it enough. Yeah, you got to. Of course, I ain't playing it, you know, like he did no, no, his no, guitar no. either. Yeah, he uh, I think it's really good sounding guitar. Is it a certain uh, brand or it's, something? It's a Takamini classical, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I've okay. beat the dog out of it, but it don't show because it's got a poly finish on it. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, uh, you know, it, it gets the Willie sound. I plug it in. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's pretty convincing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It do sound good. It well, somebody good. quoted you the other day, change the subject a little bit, but, uh, <clears throat> yeah, they said that uh, they were talking to you and you sit, talking about what a good year you've had as far as gigs and that it uh, looks like you're going to have more gigs than you've had in 15 years or so or something like that. Is that yeah, right? yeah, I've been blessed by the Lord this past year, year and a half. It's been really, really amazing. Um, he will do that, you know. I'm that. telling you, man. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. I've, for a year now, I've been playing that Friday night gig that I have at Anthony's. Mm -hmm. And I play there every Wednesday night. I play bass for my friend Moses Wrangle. Oh, okay. And yeah. uh, we've got a, a trio there with my friend, uh, my new friend, Thad Maxwell. We do that every Wednesday night. And then I'm off somewhere every Saturday um, every Sunday somewhere. Uh, sometimes you, I've been playing some Tuesday and Thursday gigs here and there. You so. play some church too, right? Yep. Yeah. I've been leading and singing at a little church in Cold Spring. Okay, cool. Camilla First Baptist Church. Or oh. First Baptist Church, Camilla. Right. It's a 120 old church. He and I played there a couple times. Mm, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. And uh, it's just a really, really old church. No microphone, no plugging in, all just acoustic. All acoustic. Sing out yeah. of the hymnal. Oh, cool. Old school. Oh, yeah. Shape you know, notes. Do, re, yeah, Bring oh, yeah. in the do, sheaves. And, yeah, that's good stuff. You know, all that, you know, when the roll oh, is called wow. up yonder, all oh. them good old songs. That's that, some good uh, stuff. There. You never hear them in those contemporary yeah, churches Well, see, you don't days. hear that anymore, mm -hmm. you know? They, nobody sings out of the hymnal anymore. No, it's you know? hard to find. So uh, I'm really enjoying it. It takes me back to my childhood. Oh, absolutely. You know? Absolutely. The, the hymnal is, is famous among old-timers. <laughs> It's called Heavenly Highways. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the one. It's and actually featured in the Johnny Cash movie, the Walk the Line movie. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. it is. Yeah. You're right. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Wow. Well, how it's been. It's been. Oh. 
It's been more than just terrific having you here, man. I tell you oh, what. Oh, thank you. Maybe I didn't love you Quite as often as I could have Maybe I didn't treat you Quite as good as I could have <laughs> If I made you feel second best Girl, I'm sorry I was blind Like Ray Charles <laughs> Out of sight, baby, out of sight You're always on my mind You're always on my mind That is good, I like that, man That is fantastic Yeah, that's one of my better ones, I think yeah. you know? well, So when you, when you were growing up and you were playing uh, Sitting on your bed in your bedroom Picking and grinning Getting where you're at today uh, what did you, did you ever think that you'd be sitting around playing some Willie, impersonating Willie Nelson? No, uh, I mean I've, I've been imitating him since I was a kid. Just oh, have you fun. really? Okay, yeah, okay, just off and on. And yeah, yeah, any singer I hear, I try to imitate. Try to imitate. Him. Okay, uh, especially if they get a characteristic voice or get a laugh mm-hmm. out of somebody. Yeah. Do you uh, do you imitate George Strait? I know everybody. Man, I can't. You can't get him. It's. Okay. Uh, I won't say he's too plain. I'm just saying there are some singers I just right I really yeah. can't. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I really, um, there's one song uh, that I do, uh, um, if you're thinking you want a stranger. Oh yeah. And my wife laughs every time I do it. Cause I say, I swear, you know, <laughs> 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 but, uh, I mean, it's kind of like George says it, I guess, yeah. but it's kind of a country. Yeah. You know, uh, kind of I mean, a country that's really true. Is, yeah. I've never heard anybody try to imitate Ray Price. Mm-mm. Yeah. Well, Mm-mm. yeah. You know, yeah. There's a bunch of them that, you know, who imitates Ray Price, Johnny Bush. They're well, all. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Well, you know what? And, and I think we brought. I think we were talking about this one time. Some artists, you're listening to them, and you're thinking, "What the? What was that? If it's a new song, you're going, "What? What the heck did they say or sing?" Because you can't understand. The matter of fact, there was an Alabama song. I can't remember what it was now. And Conway Twitty always thought because he was trying to get the song from uh, uh, Owens, and he called him, and he's what was it? I, I feel. You feel so tight, and it's you feel so right. Oh. Of course, everybody knows that. But uh, you know, so Twitty right. thought it was you feel so tight or something like that. Yeah. I can't remember exactly the story, but and 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 Randy goes, no, it's uh, you feel so right. But that's going to be on Alabama's next uh, album, you know. And and well, Con- should have let Conway cut it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, well, it was a number one for them too. So, yeah, he you know, ain't so he, he ain't hurt. Yeah, none. but they were brand new back then. Yeah, you know. So, but yeah, you're right. Absolutely. But I think mm-hmm. nice voices <clears throat> just don't lend themselves to impersonations. I mean, I, mm-hmm. I talk about choir boy. That's what I would say about Bobby Flores. I mean, he, you know, he had a, a nice voice, mm-hmm. sang really well, but it it doesn't have distinctive characteristics. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, yeah, you can't tell it's. Mm-hmm. Sometimes that it's him, you're like, who is that guy? He sings right. really good, but who is he? Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, when somebody's characteristic, like Willie or yeah. you know, Johnny right. and yeah. John Connolly uh, has got yeah. that yeah. sound. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's singing yeah. out of a talk of it. Yeah. Out, you know, I don't know how he's doing it, but he's singing somewhere out of his throat. I don't know. It's just his sound, you it's know. It's the throat uh, coming through the nose. I guess it's so. definitely not the diaphragm, I don't think. Yeah, so. he's, he's, oh, if, uh, they, if they ever removed his adenoids, it'll ruin He's gone. He's, gone. he's out of there. Yeah, you know, my friend so. Steve played bass in the that's I think, cool, man. I think Randy, uh, I mean, Ricky uh, Skaggs, he did one of the best impersonations of uh, uh, Bill uh, Mr. Bill. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He, he did a yeah. really good good impersonation. Oh, of and um, uh, uh, Keith Whitley could, could really do uh, oh, yeah, yeah. He, he, Lester Flatt. He did. Also. He did. Oh, really? I hadn't heard him do yeah, that. He yeah. did the Billy Crash Craddock version of Rub It In, Rub It In, and, and had... Uh, and did... Lester uh, Flat, Lester Flat singing it. It was oh, funny. I gotta hear that. I bet yeah. it's great. It's on it YouTube. Great. It's out oh, okay. there. It's out there on YouTube. It. It. Uh, is, uh, if you'll type in uh, Keith Whitley, Ralph uh, Emery, because it was back when the yeah. Nashville Network was still yeah. uh, rocking and rolling. Show. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it's funny. It's hilarious. Oh, actually, cool. <laughs> I'd like good to see, job, I'd like to see that or hear that. I bet yeah. it's great. Man, I tell you what, we I, I, we appreciate you being here. I know you had to drive in from the north side. Oh, I tell you, from the north side of the Heights, six ten in Yale. Boy, you made wow. it quick though. 
Yeah. Traffic, I, traffic wasn't too bad? Wasn't too bad, but I was on the tollway part of the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's always good. All right. Well, we'll good be deal. thinking of something for episode three, my friend. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Maybe Absolutely. we can uh, talk about them side men like we were talking about. Yeah. Here. Being a side man. What, hey. Yeah. What it takes to be a good and side here's, man. And here's the question I was going to ask. It don't really fit into what we've been doing. But when you were a kid, when you first got your driver's license, what was the first car that you got? 72 Volkswagen Beetle. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. My folks got it for me yeah. and... uh it was eight hundred bucks, and uh, I learned how to work on a Volkswagen. Man. Real yeah, quick. had the sixteen hundred CC or yeah, the fifteen hundred eighty two to be exact. Yeah, 15, they call yeah, it the sixteen hundred class. You got oh, it, there. All right, all right. Yeah, I had to learn all that mess. When you got a VW Bug, you either got to spend a bunch of money paying somebody to adjust it, or you need to learn how to adjust right. it. Right. Yeah. yeah. I had a square back, but oh, you did. That, I was, wow. was going to ask you what a, was your first car. My first car was a nineteen fifty Plymouth Coupe. Ooh, uh, okay. I that was nice. <laughs> Mine, $150. 60, 66 Ford F100. Oh, cool. Nice. Step side. Yeah, but so, anyway. I knew, uh, of course, I was in that bluegrass world a lot. And we had uh, we had a guy who played upright bass. Mm-hmm. And he actually could somehow get that thing in a Volkswagen Bug. Wow. He did. He brought it. He did. He have the, 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 the canvas sunroof. Is that how he did? No. <laughs> He, he probably it. took probably took the passenger seat out. I've I've seen people do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Went wow. in through the passenger door. Yeah, right. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. We appreciate you being here, man. It's been a it's been a blast from the past. Well, thank been, you for having me. Really, sure. really, really good. So, but anyway, well, folks, we'll see y'all on another. Adios. Thanks for listening to the Big Show with Andy Gallo and Country Jim. This has been a Unicap Media presentation.